Good evening. It's Jeanette here from my home studio, which I've called Far Forest Ceramics. Long time no see. Oh, I can't tell you how wonderful it is to get back into my studio. I've literally not been able to come in here really for about a couple of months because my studio is located in an annex that has been used by family for the last couple of three months. And I don't didn't want to use my kiln particularly and just have a lot of clay lying around uh, for health and safety reasons. So I thought, okay, be good, Jeanette. Don't use it for a couple of months, but oh my God, that's been hard. So I was finally able to get back in here um, a couple of nights ago. So I've been in after work, in here till 10 o'clock at night because I very naughtily treated myself to some Mako glazes as a birthday present to myself. 15 of them, actually. And I've been desperate to give them a try. I also used um, some clay to make some threw some pots on the wheel just before I vacated the studio and I accidentally used the wrong bag of clay. I thought it was Millennium Clay, Stoneware Millennium, which I normally use, and I accidentally picked up my one block of Stoneware Fleck that I was going to try out. So now I've made my test tiles in the wrong clay and I've used the wrong clay for my pots, but never mind, I'm going to give it a go. So I just wanted to share with you oh, my excitement of being back in the studio and I've been doing some glazing till late at night. Can't remember how long it took to do test tiles and now I do. It's like, oh, ages. So I think I have done quite a few. Let me turn you around and show you. So this for me is a lot of test tiles to do. I think it's in the region of 80 odd I've done. And so these are my um, glazes that I bought. The ones with hearts on are the ones that I previously had. I only had six, so I've invested in a few more, which I'm thrilled about. So what I've been doing is I've been making little hearts that I then glaze with um, just the basic glaze, and I attach that around the jar, which I quite like as a visual, um, to see what colour's inside, but it's also pretty attractive. So I've actually gone and done all my new glazes ready to go. Can't believe that they look so different when they actually come out the kiln. And then, like I said, I've thrown, sorry I'm making you a bit dizzy here, but I've thrown some pieces which I thought was Millennium Stoneware and actually these are all Stoneware Fleck. So I've had my first go at doing a bit of texture, um, different playing around. Oh, I had a little go at a colander. I don't think that's going to work out somehow. I don't know. Um, trimming a foot slightly differently and then some textures at the back and yeah we'll see how those go but look I actually threw something that was 500 more than 500 grams so I think they were a kilo each which for me is the biggest I've thrown I am still a beginner I started in January this year so I actually one of my glazes is galaxy so all of these are with let me show you how i've done this let me just take basically take one so basically a sheet that's a bit messed up so on my sheets i do which clay i've got and then where i'm putting the glaze and the various coats colors and then how many coats i'm doing and then my test tile number so i find this a really easy way to keep track of what i'm doing and what i'm glazing but all of these here are using Galaxy as a base coat. So I do, um, it's three coats on the front and two coats at the back so I can see if I can get away with doing two coats. And then I do the colour of the glaze, three coats over the top. That's what I do with my test tiles as a try. But every top is slightly different. And then where I've got two tiles, I've basically, one is with the fleck and one is with um, another clay. I'm just using it my old test tiles, different sizes because I'm still trying to decide how I'm going to throw my test tiles or build them, hand build them, still evolving. And then I had a pot that I over trimmed and lost the bottom of it, which was supposed to be, supposed to be a mug. And then I trimmed too much. So I've basically put under glaze on and marked on some numbers. And then I've put again, galaxy all over times three. And then I've put, what have I got on there? Honeycomb, lime shower, frosted lemon, leather, muddy waters and birch to see what happens there. Because I do like the idea of galaxy with some combos I've seen on the Mako site. I've then done, this batch here is all with a blue surf base and different tops. This one is sea salt with all different tips. Um, honeycomb, again at the back I've got two different clays to see if there's any difference. Just a Norse blue one, 
this one, obviously I like the idea of the combos on this one. This is Himalayan salt. I've got leather, blue hydrangea. I love how that looks as before it's glazed. Oh, it's because it's love. I love purple. That's really nice. Where did that come from? No, that was a double one there. <laughs> and then a winter wood as a base, muddy waters, sandstone, sand and sea, and frosted lemon. So I'm going to load these up now into Kitty. She hasn't been fired for quite some time and hopefully get her going tonight. And then I'll let you know when I open it and see what my results are. And then once I've got some results from these, I'm then hoping to actually all of those pieces that um, I threw in my stoneware fleck that was wrong. Not quite sure how to glaze them yet. I need to see because the stoneware fleck, when I actually bisfired them, nothing showed up in the fleck. Is that normal? I'd have thought I'd have seen something because the stoneware fleck has got nothing in it when I've bisfired it. I'm hoping that comes out when I fire it. I don't know. We'll see. But lovely to see you again. I'm going to load the kiln up now and I will share with you the results when it's out. See you soon. Bye bye.